Hey guys, it's me, it's KC. Welcome back to the 2017 Halloween event in Family Gear the Quest for Stuff. This video, well, I kind of have to re-record it because I recorded it originally the first time, but then I accidentally quit my program before stopping the recording, so now the file is corrupted. And I've tried so long to try to repair it, but it just doesn't want to work. So unfortunately, you're going to miss all the dialogue and everything prior to... Well, there are two characters available for this third week. Now, both of them are actually timers, but they're not in the traditional sense. What I mean by that is if you go over down to the achievements down below, you can see that that character there, four days, you'll get 20 of the clams. The other character, which is right there, I think if you finish it in a certain amount of days as well, I think it's three brains. Also, Homer has also done his job. Let me show you this character, though. This is Jigsaw. I still use cassettes, so you know I'm scary. And they got a voice right away, and it's so cool. But we got 20 choke collars. You gotta get by clearing the wheelchair zombie. These aren't your grandma's puzzles. I'm also doing this really... Differently, normally I save the characters to the end because everything's kind of messed up. We'll start first. 18 CDC zombies, they're always, which is good. Do you want to play a game? Oh, that sounds so cool. 19 knife polished stone, common, lowest, I think it is a four hour quest off the top of my head. I think so. I think it's a four-hour request. Let the game begin. And I can't remember how many hacksaws. Fifteen hacksaws common. Get by clearing the hospital patient zombie. I believe you need Joe for that. No. Oh, wait. They haven't popped up yet. Never mind. I'm getting really confused. And finally. Eight. Torture Barks, get him from Mort, which I think is a 4 hour quest, and the Zombie Survival School. Uh, I think 5 hours actually, which is a, a rather strange time, but it is 5 hours. Also, you can see these uh, wheelchair zombies that are rolling around. And that does require Joe, but you need the crossbow. Now to get the crossbows, you get them from the gun store or Shamish, which is a premium character. But to get the crossbows, you need the, the arrows. And to get the arrows, it's either Joe, Jigsaw, which of course we're working on, and then Zombie Escape Boats, which I believe is from the hospital. So let's actually go to the hospital, which is right here. And I've already put down two of the items. The third one, of course, is the arrows. I need ten brains, three more, because I've got seven. And speaking of the brains, let's go to the tent. That is a tent. Eyeballs are now in the third week. And of course you get them by clearing the bear trap zombies, wheelchair zombies, or achievements. And all that sort of stuff. So it's exactly like the previous week. This one now has six, 24 and 26 of the zombie hands respectively. And if you just want to go straight with the eyeballs, 29. But on to the second character, and if you thought the voice with Jigsaw was cool, check this out. Sewing ain't just for grandmas anymore. That voice is like the complete opposite of mine. Super deep, super awesome, mine's high and just... Bleh. But we got 20 uh, human meatloaf by the Bear Trap Zombies. I don't think they've popped up yet, or have they? They have, but you need Jigsaw to do that, so that's not going to work. Calling me creepy ain't an insult. We've also got nine tattered dusters common, get from the creepers hideout or the zombie gone exterminators. I believe they're in the hospital, but I believe I haven't been able to place it down yet. All peepers are on me. 16 battle axes, which are common. Military zombies, so that's from the previous week with the machetes, I believe. And you're gonna need, I think, Zombie Bonnie or whatever. Or Haunted Hospital. 
calling me creepy ain't an insult. 15 steps enhanced, which are common. Meg, which I think is an eight hour quest, and then Zombie Bunker. All peepers are on me. And Human Meat Rub. That's interesting. Get by killing the hospital patient zombies. Have these popped up yet? No, they haven't popped up yet. I don't know. There's like three or four NPCs walking around. So I get rather confused. But in terms of both the characters, you're going to be getting Jigsaw first. Those who do not appreciate life do not deserve life. That kind of sounds similar to Creeper, kind of. No, it doesn't really. I thought they did for a second, but they don't. There's also the main quest line, which you must do. What in doubt, just follow this main quest line just so you don't accidentally, you know, click something or spend something you didn't mean to spend. By following this, you'll be guaranteed not to overspend, so to speak. But Joel fortify his wheelchair, which is a three hour quest, get by getting a crossbow from the gun store, which you saw before. And yeah, Joe's working on that three hour quest. Other than that, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yes, there is. There's the inventory. Machine Gunner Seamus, and it's 210 clams, I believe. That is right. I've got one itchy trigger tail. We've also got, obviously, Jigsaw, Creeper. This stuff is from the previous week. Escape Boat. Yeah, so this is all stuff from the hospital. And that's pretty much it. It seems like the majority of the decorations are actually the achievements. And I I think I showed the achievements already, but if I didn't, this is them right there. And these are all the different ones. And of course, if you do get all 54 of the achievement points, or at least 54 of them, you will get the grand prize, which is the thing from the ring, I believe, which is super cool, super creepy. By the way, I need one more of these for Zombie Chris. Now this is a costume skin for Chris Griffin. I still have to get six zombie monkeys. I will definitely be able to get that. Eventually when I do some clearing for week three, this achievement will be knocked off. And I'll probably try to do a separate video for it. But it just remain to be seen when I will be able to get it. You know what? I have to look at these different things walking around because I'm getting really confused. Okay, so the bear trap zombie, you need Jigsaw. Okay. That, of course, is not going to be doable until I get the character. What's the other one walking around? That's from last week or the week before. Oh, there's so many walking around. There's another one, isn't there? Isn't there a couple more? Where's the other ones? Oh, maybe they, oh, here we go. The wheelchair dudes. Okay, this is with Joe. And, of course, there is a three-hour quest to get the... The item needed to create the crossbow. I think it's the arrows... So, there's that to look for. That's for Jigsaw. And isn't there a third one as well? I think there is. Hold on. Let me go back to Creeper. Sewing ain't just for grandmas anymore. Was it this one? The Hospital Patient Zombies. Yeah, and that hasn't popped up just yet. I guess you have to focus more on this, which is the main quest line. And then they'll probably pop up. So it looks like there are three, like, NBC things to walk around in this third week alone. Then you get all of them from the previous weeks. There's like six or seven walking around. It's really, really just... There's too much going on. I don't like it. Other than that... This, of course, is like the checklist that you gotta work on in this week three. You got the, the crossbows, of course. Joe, eventually you get Jigsaw. Then you gotta trade the eyes for the brains. I think I should be able to get Jigsaw fairly fast, hopefully. Hopefully sometime over the weekend. In terms of the other character though, Creeper, at least for the pattern for me, it's been like the day of or maybe even a bit delayed in order to get that character before the next week hits. Like this video. This particular week hit Wednesday night. I'm not recording this until Thursday night. So, I mean, I'm a little bit behind. Not a lot, but enough where I really, really had to push forward to hopefully try to catch up. So keep it locked here in the near future for both of those characters down the road. And when I do, I will definitely have some videos out for you. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. My name's Casey, and I will see you on the next one. 
Bye-bye, guys.